Good morning. This is John Kettering in the Philippines. Uh, this is Monday, May 13th of 2019. Um, it's election day. So Tatsuki I put on the bus this morning at 5 a.m. so she can go home and vote. And so I'm here today just planning to meet a friend for lunch and do a few things around the house. This video is in response to a request by Pat to see the foliage and plants in the yard. So we're just going to tour the yard today. Uh, one thing I would ask you to remember is uh, we are at the end of our dry season. It's been very dry. Uh, we just started getting a little rain. Uh, April is typically the driest month of the year and June is typically the wettest. <laughs> so we're in transition. But things don't look quite as impressive as they might otherwise. So we're just going to tour the yard and look at all the stuff. Um, and it's, it's interesting here because uh, there's no freeze-thaw cycles. We have decent weather, good weather, 365 days a year. That means edible products are available 365 days a year, including vine ripened tomatoes. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. Stuff grows readily here. So there's a lot of natural vegetation. There's also, when you plant stuff, it's just you gotta drop the seed and you know, punt it into the yard and it grows. Uh, I don't know the names of everything, but I'll do my best. So let's take a look around. I'll start here at the front gate. Um, I will just uh, give you kind of a quick view. We planted this plant. It's usually covered with blue, pretty blue flowers when there's enough rain, which of course there's not at the moment. Uh, if you look around, you can see this plant that's growing along the wires is called ginger. It's not like the other ginger that you eat, but you can see the little trailing things coming off of it. It's used a lot for decoration, and it's kind of like having your own natural bead curtain. The neighbor's tree is a mango tree. You can see a mango, a few of them right up in there. Let me see if I can focus in a little bit. Okay, you can see a mango right in the center of the picture, I think. Uh, uh, mangoes are very plentiful here, very common. Uh, prized. They're more expensive than you might think, uh, but good. Okay, this plant is a pepper plant. We have three or four in the yard, and I try to keep them growing because I love the peppers. I use one or two of these in a pot all the time. Plus, I use the foliage in cooking. Uh, this one because of a rain we had last week, plus I usually water this one, it is looking pretty good. So it should uh, blossom out and have lots of peppers soon. This one is called Malungai. It's very common. Um, you can see that's the Malungai. Those, it's eaten with almost every meal here. It's always put in soups and stews. Um, maybe even salads. I don't know that I've seen people eat it raw, but they may. But it grows very readily. And uh, so we have a malungai here. We have a malungai here. You can break these branches off very simply. They're just so easy. And I, I take these to my neighbor, Lucy, and she uses them to feed to her goats. So I'm leaving a little later, and I'll put this here and take it to Lucy. Uh, this is a guava tree. I'm looking to see. I don't, the guava are just coming on. We don't eat the guava uh, simply because they're so wormy here. Uh, they're very common in the market where they're not wormy, so I'm not sure 
what the thing is, these trees are neighbor's trees. It's just foliage. I've never seen anything grow on those. This tree I'm standing under is a mango. There's one or two large mango. You can see that. Uh, mango is, like I said, very common, and there's lots of different kinds of mango. They, uh, there's some small, very sweet ones. These, I don't care for, but Tatsuki likes them and eats them green with vinegar and some kind of fish sauce. Um, Filipinos probably eat more mangoes green than they do ripe. Okay, here's another pepper plant. It has some red and so forth. I've watered this a little bit more, so it's it's been putting peppers on, but it will be covered in another month. Uh, ferns are common here. Uh, this is just a little flowery plant. I don't know what, but it's very hardy. <laughs> I've ignored it a lot, but it doesn't seem to care. Uh, banana trees are everywhere here. Each banana stalk puts on one bunch and then dies, but they develop from uh, rhizomes, kind of like is it iris, canna, and so forth. They grow underground and new ones come up and there's a new bunch of bananas. Tons of different kinds of bananas here. Uh, we've, we prefer the green one which is about half the size of what you're used to, and they don't turn yellow. Uh, but bananas are so cheap, they're like 40 cents, four or seven or eight of them. Uh, this is my neighbor's tree against the wall. It's also a mango tree. Uh, let me see if I can... Maybe you can see there's a cluster of mangoes. It's very prolific. And this tree has, it's a very small, very sweet mango, which I really like. Unfortunately, they fall from 30 feet. When they're ripe, they hit the ground and they belong to the ants. Okay, this is another guava, our second one. If you just hold the camera up, you can see little ones beginning to develop. They get almost as big as a tennis ball, uh, but unfortunately they don't. Uh, so they're not edible because they have so many seeds in them. This is a bougainvillea. They grow, I guess, wild here. We planted this one. They bloom, seems like, all the time. Beautiful. Uh, they're great hedges. I don't know if you've ever noticed or not, but Vulcanvillea have <clears throat> very sharp spines. And so they're great to grow in places to restrict uh, traffic. This tree is an avocado. Uh, avocado is another tree where the avocados are uh, a number of different varieties. This, unfortunately, is one I don't particularly care for. It's also one where the avocados grow large. They weigh more than a pound apiece. And they fall from the tree also when ripe. They also shatter when they hit the ground. And they hurt like hell if you're under one of them. It's like getting slugged. Okay, this is the same mango tree. I showed you before, and this is one just like it. Uh, between the two of them, they keep Tatsuki pretty busy pulling off green mangoes to eat. This stuff is just decorative plants, except for this one, which is a different kind of pepper plant. Uh, you see the little bitty pepper there? Now, Tatsuki likes these. Uh, they are hotter than snot, but uh, not that snot's hot, who knows? Anyway, she takes these, and a lot of times she puts them in her soup, but she doesn't break them or anything. 
because they're too hot. <laughs> so I try to get her to use mine, but she doesn't. Uh, this is a little fish tank. And the little fishies are not evident. I guess the birds tried to eat them. This I tried to grow some Kang Kong. It's an edible plant. It's used as pig food and also people food. Um, but for some reason it's not growing here. I had it before. I think there's just not enough sun. The last place we lived, I had it growing all over the yard coming out of a fish tank and we would eat it periodically as a salad. I put some orchids on the trees, but uh, the orchids are like one or two dollars a piece and you can stick them to anything and they grow, but I haven't done well here. Tatsuki does not have a green thumb. Uh, she helps and she does stuff, but she doesn't know uh, much about orchids and I certainly don't. These are, we started with five, we have maybe two left and they've never bloomed, so uh, this is not an orchid farm. My brother-in-law made me a couple of tents out of bamboo. This is, I, I can't remember the name of this. Uh, some people call it a Vietnamese, Vietnamese, <laughs> uh, Philippine spinach. We use a lot of it, almost anything that I cook, I put a double handful of this in and then it cooks down to almost nothing, but I enjoy the flavor of it. Uh, it cooks, it grows so fast you have to uh, trim it back or eat a lot of it. Here's another pepper plant of the little peppers. And Tatsuki likes the peppers so much she keeps them pretty much pruned. This one is beginning to put out a lot of new leaves. Uh, since the, the first rain we've had for this year. So hopefully they will become more prolific. This is a sweet potato that's eaten for foliage. We just planted it. We haven't started harvesting anything, but it is, uh, it was only planted then about maybe two weeks ago. So stuff grows really well here. It's just a great environment. Uh, these are sayote. Uh, for some reason, they seem to be suffering a little bit and I'm not sure why. Uh, hopefully they will grow up. They grow a sort of a pear-sized fruit that is so versatile. It's used as a vegetable, as a fresh fruit. I love them. Since I, it's one of the few new things I've discovered here that I eat almost every day. I put it in my coleslaw. I put it in a vegetable mix I call Philippine Crunch. <laughs> uh, we put it in soups. I fried it with uh, chicken. It's just amazing. The wall here, there's, like I said, so many things that grow. The, our privacy is maintained by whatever these plants are here. You can see they're getting up maybe 15 feet tall. Uh, enough that I'm gonna have to trim them because they get into the power lines. Uh, another uh, mango tree. And here's another little orchid that's trying hard to live. Uh, one of the problems we have here, you can see all of the ants. Ants are everywhere here. And we keep in the kitchen, we keep bottles of bleach, bottles of vinegar.